Hi everyone, welcome to the session. Uh, in this session, I am going to continue my discussion on uh, goodwill on consolidation. So in this particular session, I am going to discuss uh, the goodwill uh, calculation uh, when NCI is measured at fair value. Okay. So goodwill uh, on consolidation when NCI is measured at fair value. So in this regard, I have selected one question. Let's go through the question, then we move on to the solution. P company acquires 75% of S company's uh, 1 million shares on 1st January 2018 uh, for consideration of 315 million. So, P company P company acquired S company on 1st January on 1st January 2018 and 75% was acquired. So what is the purchase consideration paid? The consideration consideration paid was 315 million. Okay? And uh, the number of shares the number of shares were 1 million. Okay, so P company acquired 75 percent of S company on 1st January 2018. The consideration paid was 315 million, and the number of shares acquired on the total number of uh, shares of S company was 1 million. At that date, the carrying amount of the net assets of S company was uh, 390 million. So on this particular date, the net assets. Net assets were 390 million. And the market value of shares in S company was $375 per share. Okay? The market value at the time of uh, acquisition was $375. So what is the goodwill uh, arising on the acquisition if the NCI is measured at fair value? The question is, uh, what goodwill arises on the acquisition if the NCI is measured at fair value? Okay, if NCI is measured at fair value, if NCI is measured at fair value, so what will be the goodwill? What is the goodwill? Okay, now. Uh, with regard to this, I have already discussed okay, uh, a complete series of uh, consolidation accounting. So what you can do is, I will just put the link below. So you can uh, go and watch those videos to have a better understanding. So I have discussed in detail how to calculate uh, goodwill. Okay, to, cal to calculate goodwill, so what you need to identify is the purchase consideration. Purchase consideration. Okay, so what is the purchase consideration? The paid was 315 million. So therefore you need to take 315 million. Then to that you need to add the fair value of the non-controlling interest. How much is the fair value of the non-controlling interest? And how do you calculate? So here you can't calculate based on the net assets. The question says the fair the the, the NCI was measured at fair value. Okay, to identify the fair value, what you need to do is you need to uh, calculate the market total market value as of first uh, January two thousand eighteen. So the number of shares were given. Okay, the number of shares one million times the market value per share is three seventy five dollars per share. The total value will be. 375 million okay of which uh, uh, the non controlling interest portion is how much 20 percent sorry 25 percent because the parent has acquired uh, 75 percent so when you take 25 percent for the non controlling interest the fair value of nci will be 375 times 
25 percent, which is going to be 375 times 25, which is going to be 93 million point seven five. Okay, so therefore you need to add back the fair value of NCI, which is 93.75. Okay, so when you add back 350 plus 93.75, which is going to be 408 million point seven five. From this total, you need to deduct up the uh, what you call the net assets. Net assets of subsidiary at acquisition. Okay, so you are given the net assets as three hundred ninety million. Okay, so here there is no fair value adjustment given. Okay, so straight away you can take three hundred ninety million. So four zero eight minus three hundred ninety, which is going to be eighteen million. 75, 18.75. So this will be the goodwill on consolidation when the NCI was measured at fair value. Okay. Now supposing if the NCI is measured at net assets of the subsidiary company, then the calculation is very straightforward because you don't need to add back this. Okay. So straight away, what is the purchase consideration? Purchase consideration paid was three hundred and fifty million. From this, you can take the net assets of subsidiary at acquisition, which is going to be three ninety million times seventy five percent. Okay, so three ninety million times seventy five percent, which is going to be. Uh, 292.5 million. So once you deduct this, which is going to be how much? 22.5 million. Okay. So but in this question, you are required to calculate the goodwill on consolidation when the NCI is measured at the fair value. Okay. To calculate the uh, fair value of NCI, what we did was we used the market. Value per share uh, to calculate the fair value because you are given the number of shares 1 million. Uh, on that, if you apply 375 per share, which is going to be 375 million, on that, uh, when you take 25%, which is the non controlling interest, the fair value of NCI will be 93.75. So, when you apply that, your goodwill will be 18.75. Okay, so with that, I will conclude the session. I'll see you soon with another video. Uh, thanks for watching and bye for now.